What is going on ARMY? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be watching the teasers and then the actual music video for N.O. or No by BTS, the biggest song on their Are You Oh Are You Late to album. It's supposed to have a phenomenal message behind it. We are going to be first watching the music video and soaking it in for what it is and then we are going to be doing a lyrical discussion in a separate video. Uh, I like to do that, that way I can soak in both aspects of the song. So let's watch the teasers and then the official music video. As always, I utilize the subreddit to uh, better uh, organize myself when it comes to jumping into new albums. I will link it in the description box down below. Let's watch teaser number one. They're teasing the song too. Emo you know what I'm getting vibes of? Hunger Games. I'm getting a lot of vibes of Hunger Games. Specifically with the... I'm assuming the, uh, the teacher or the... Yeah, probably the teacher and then the guard standing next to him. Lots of Hunger Game vibes from this from the teaser. Because like the the stylings of their outfits, the 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 white of the whole uh, classroom. Lots of Hunger Games vibes from it. It's been a while since I watched Hunger Games. I should watch that again. It's a pretty good movie. All right. That was teaser number 1. Now, I think they threw in a snippet of the song too. Which I'm kind of liking. And then I hear that, no! So let's let's do teaser number two. What are we going to get from that? It's only, it's less than 30 seconds. Everybody say no! These are the outfits from the album. More snippets, more snippets. I'm digging this. They seem to came out of the pearly, uh, the pearly gates up there, over there, up, up top. Look at that. I'm, li I'm digging these outfits though. Let me hide my, my face again. Look at that. Yeah, these are the outfits from the album. We have uh, V, Suga, Jin, JK, RM, Jimin, and J Hope. Nineties boy band. Oh. Like Backstreet Boys, the only boy band that I remember having this like level of like bright whiteness is Backstreet Boys. That's their official lineup order too. Nice. All right, that was teaser number two. Even shorter than teaser number one, wasn't able to take too much away from it. Poor Jimin never got to have sleeves. Boys to men. Oh yeah, yeah, I see that too. I see that too. Not too much I was able to take away from this one, but I am excited for the official music video. So I know I know chat is a little is a little like I I, I don't think I can I can bear it, but we're gonna have to get through it. We'll get through it together. Are they referencing the Matrix? Oh, 
I like the beat. They're breaking through the God damn. There's a lot to take away. All right, let's go. There are so many things to take away from that, and I was, between the visuals, I was able to soak in some of the lyrics. The visuals, there are so many references that I'm not, I'm, I'm getting, but, like, I got Matrix vibes, I said that I got Hunger Games vibes, the lyrics are saying, they're talking about their parents, they're talking about endure it, do it later. There are so many things to take away from this music video. So many things. We're going to do lyrics in a different video because there's so much. We're going to go through the music video uh, and I'm going to, I'm going to, we're going to talk about it. I'm also definitely, and I, I said this in my review for Too Cool for School. I am impressed because the chat was saying uh, uh, this and I agree with them. They're, they're, they are breaking a lot or pushing back against a lot of social norms. And there's some that I can't even believe that they got away with. I can't believe that they actually got away with because they are straight up fighting the teachers. <laughs> like, I'm not even talking like fighting them verbally. They are literally fighting back. Yeah. Yeah. They almost got blacklisted. Yeah. From what I can understand, and like I said, I only speak from what I know, and I'm not trying to supersede anything that's an action that anyone's actually lived through the the notion of strictness and you know education and just doing going into the system and everything they they are clearly they are clearly they pop the red pill they enter they 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 allow themselves to be in the matrix that's what i'm assuming if you take the red pill if you take the blue pill and then you know they pop the red pill they study they study they study they have this strict uh teacher over there with guards around him craziness but we're going to talk a little bit about that in a second we're going to run through the music video
Yeah. They so they all have these are uniforms that clearly are police uniforms with the helmets, the uh, the riot shield, and the batons. To have that in a classroom is pretty insane. I'm not implying that they actually have that in actual classrooms, but the notion of it is uh, is you know powerful. The red pill. The red pill. That's the matrix. There's no doubt about it. Uh, matrix red pill. If you're not familiar with the red pill or the blue pill concept, uh, I'm not going to talk about that side of it. Um, the red pill and the blue pill represents a choice between the willingness to learn a potentially unsettling or life-changing truth by taking the red pill or remaining content taking the blue pill. If you have not seen The Matrix, I highly recommend that you do. It's a very good movie, specifically the first one. The uh, sequels are not bad in my opinion, but the first one is a crazy, crazy. But the notion of red pill and blue pill, thats I, I believe that's what they're going for. And we did see those red flashes in the background every now and then. They seem to wake up after taking the red pill. Were they given, the, were they given, to the, were they given them by mistake? Excellent question. Were they given to them by mistake? Mm. So that is also... And we do see the red flashings in the background. Maybe the red pill was given to them by mistake. Because the red pill would be the one that would wake them up. Mm, interesting notion. And there seems to be a little indentation on this one as well. Yes, the, the red pill signifies it going into their system. That's what's going on. That's why the red pill confuses me. I would imagine that may, there's, there's a notion, now that I'm thinking about it, is the proctor on their side and he's sort of helping them by giving them the red pill? You never know. It's forced. I remember some of these things. I'll be honest with you. I remember this. Sine, cosine. I remember these. Uh, I don't remember how to utilize them properly, but I do remember them. But I didn't learn this in school. I believe I... Uh, I, I think I learned this late high school and uh, college. Maybe they wanted to see what will happen if they take the red pill. This is why the guards are there. Oh, good notion. And then in case it got out of hand, but it didn't matter. It got out of hand too much. Yep, that's a good thought. Maybe the red pill was a, a test and it, and it backfired on them. Let's take a look at that line for a second. School, house, and PC room is all we have. Mmm. Yep. They are they are fighting a they are fighting against the probably absolutely miserable lifestyle that they go through when they're when they're younger. We live the same life to become number one. Who made us a study machine? Right there, there's a glitch. There's a glitch. That's a big thing in the Matrix. A glitch in the Matrix. Something's going on because his hand movements are not natural. The, the glitch is happening. The pill, whatever they took, maybe it didn't work. Maybe, and maybe it was the wrong pill. But the glitch in the Matrix is happening and they're able to fight back. When he says that we have to step on friends to be number one. 
You know something? I can relate to that to a, a degree. Not the way it is here. But what was interesting, when I w- in certain classes in college, okay, uh, and I don't know if any of you have gone through this, but in certain classes in college, there's, there's a, a specific type of grading system. There's the curve system, and then there's the regular one. So most of the time you go through elementary school, middle school, high school, you are graded based off of how well you perform. So a 70 is a C, and 100 is an A. But when you get into college, there are some classes that are very odd. And I'll give you an example. I, in one of my mathematics courses, you weren't grade based off of how well you did uh, with the information you were graded based off how well you did compared to everyone else, which makes no sense at all. So this was a very difficult math class, very difficult, right? And the average, the average, which would be a C, was a 40 out of 100. Not a 40 out of 50, a 40 out of 100. So if you managed to get a 45, you would be getting a B, in reality, you don't know anything because you bombed the, the, the math course. But because it was so difficult for everyone else, they considered you average because you were able to understand it as much as everyone else did. So if you got a 30, you'd be failing. If you got a 65, somehow you knew everything and you got a 100 or, or you got the equivalent to an A. It doesn't make any damn sense. It doesn't make any damn sense. Now, that isn't every single course. I took, you know, you take a variety of classes in college. I took a writing class. If you didn't write well, it didn't matter how well you did compared to everyone else. You failed one way or another. You either had to write the correct way, which they actually teach you, and you passed, or you write wrong, and then you fail. But in some STEM classes, from what I could tell, the STEM classes, like my mathematics class or my computer class, it wasn't dependent on if you knew it. It was dependent on how well you knew it compared to everyone else, which is stupid because if you get a, if you get a 30 in a class, but you pass and you graduate college and you go into the workforce and you're going to say, you're going to say to them, yeah, I got a 30 on this, but I, I really don't know how to do it. But compared to everyone else, I do. What kind of stupid nonsense is that? And I remember I was telling my friend, I was like, yeah, I just got a 40 on my, on my thing. My friend was like, are you stupid? I was like, no, I, I actually am pretty smart compared to everyone else because I got a B. I was like, what is this stupidity? This is why there's the notion, at least in America, you know, there's this notion that when you graduate, that these kids don't know anything. No, no, duh, they don't know anything because they aren't being taught anything. They're being taught how to compete with each other. Every time I would go into my class, I'd be like, for the love of God, I hope everybody else failed worse than I did. It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense. I, I I would literally be praying, I really hope everyone else did worse than me. Not that I did well. I never cared about doing well. I cared I, I cared about doing better than other people. Because I'm thinking to myself, if they failed, at least I passed. It wasn't about learning, it was about getting the grade. It was it was about getting the grade so I could pass the class. I didn't care about learning. I cared about getting getting through. Right over here. This flashing of red's got to be in relation to something going on that they're breaking through the matrix and obviously they are fighting back. Right there, make money, good money. But but what's what's the point? Sky is a, an abbreviation for the three Korean universities. Damn. Good call. This is why I think this part is also very interesting. Right over here, he's the one who gave them the red pills, but he doesn't seem to be like in on it. Let's say he intentionally gave them the red pills in order to break out of the matrix. He's not, he's hiding. He's hiding behind the thing being like, that wasn't supposed to happen. So maybe somebody swapped the pills. Maybe they put different or the the pills weren't as effective to get them to be brainwashed. And it was, it was an accident. I don't think he's on their side. And this is them out of the matrix, right? They've broken through. That's why they're. That's why they have that light behind them. That's why they have the light behind them. And that red flash again, obviously representing that matrix red. 
Look at V, he's waving. Hello. <laughs> You could even make make an, uh, make maybe an argument. You know, they have ascended. They are free. They have broken out of it. <laughs> these hands <laughs> got these hands. Um. They might mean something. I'm going to look it up. Maybe chat knows what they mean, but there's got to be something to these hands. Is this the hear no evil, see, speak no evil thing that was in the fake love? Because the other thing is they got the hands right over there and then JK immediately went over like this where he covered his mouth. Maybe they're reaching out to stop them. We're going to double check that. Hands play a part in several. Gotcha. No. This is where the choreography gets badass. And this is also where I hear a bit of that dubstep in the background. I'm loving the choreography where they straight up are fighting back with kicks. I'm loving this. Everybody say no. Right over here. This is police right here. They, they, they got them, they grab them by the arms, and they, they are, this is the arrest position. They're arresting them. Get back in line. And this is another uh, arrest position. Hands over your head. Get down. Yep. Authority is, is suppressing the youth and arresting them and maybe even arresting their, their hopes and dreams and shattering them. They are not free. They are prisoners, and this is this is always this is always an image specifically this one, you know, on the knees with the hands over your head. This is always like a a signifier of being suppressed. It's not like oh you're under arrest or whatever. It's it's really the negative context of it. This one, especially with them over behind them over them. It's a super, super negative context. And they got the full-fledged SWAT team. Took a, It took a turn in the stream. Yeah, it was all happy with Boy With Love first. One hell of a jump. But they're fighting back. Everybody say no. I'm loving their kicks. Yep, yeah, Jordans all day. I got a couple Jordans myself. That's when I saw it. I was like, let's go. Amazing music video. Amazing choreography. The big choreography move, uh, if I'm gonna point one out, the big choreography move, you know, on the same level of Jimin running on the backs or J-Hope and, and Jimin dead dropping and then flipping over. It's when Jimin is cornered, all the boys come in to protect him. They, they, they got his back. They got him, they got him shielded. Look at V's hair, god damn. How the hell? They must have, uh, there must have been something springing him up. He is so high into the air. That's awesome. With the kick flip. He's known for that, isn't he? God damn. No. Rah. Jane in our through him. Gotcha. Awesome. That's great. I love that. That's an awesome music video. And, I, and the meaning behind it is clearly there, and we're gonna get into it, maybe in a different, maybe in a different stream, maybe off stream. I might just get through it, but that was awesome. That was an amazing music video, incredible. All right, let's get into the dance practice.
Let's go, Gene. I'm loving this symmetry. It's so good. People gotta be going crazy for that. Lay it down, Hobie. Let's go. You know who's been getting my attention the entire video? B. He's been killing it. They all have them. Vivid kicks. I want to see the jump. God damn. Awesome. Oh, it's so good. Jimin's always that high flyer. I'll tell you that right now. He's always that one flying around, dude. He's always that one flying around. Is there anything else that we should do in regards to no? We've watched the dance practice. Oh my god, it's so good. Let me let me actually run back. By far my favorite part. By far my favorite part. It's it's also the most you know, it's the most powerful moment. But uh, but it, it is my favorite part of the music video and the choreography is the is is that notion of the the of the of the overwhelming pressure that the, that youth have. You know they're they are locked. They are prisoners of that pressure and that symbolism that's going on in the choreography. I love it. And obviously the big old jump from Jimin at the very end. The bang tan bomb. Gotcha. This is my favorite part. When they yank them and they pull them back, they're like, you're not going anywhere. They got, they got all six of them. They got one left. They all turn around. They focus on that one final member, but all the boys come in and defend them. Oh, it's so good. It's awesome. Okay. Awesome. All right. There you have it. We have watched the dance version of the music video. Right now, chat is voting, which is the next version we're going to be watching, so stay tuned for that. Hopefully that can also go up on the on the channel. The choreography killed it. I talked about how much how powerful that scene is at the very end with the boys uh, doing that and jumping with Jimin. I absolutely loved it. Kind of in a rush because we're in, a, in the middle of a stream and the vote, I think, is probably over, so stay tuned. Check me out on Twitch if you haven't already. No pressure, though. Everything that can go on YouTube will be on YouTube. 
Borahay, I purple you, finger hearts, no. <laughs>